Good morning, dear Swissies and Switzerland lovers. I am right now in Mürren, after a long time. And I have to say, in Mürren, there is a big construction site right now because they built the new cable car up to Schilton and I'll show you how it looks like, okay? Yeah, face the truth, for that. <laughs> yeah, but uh, there are still many places to hike and we show you one of those, okay? Whee! <laughs> Rastas, of course. With me, yeah. Happily running on 17 degrees. We had 21 degrees in the night. Blah. Yeah, but the weather will change in the next uh, few days. And uh, then we will have colder temperatures. I had also no energy yeah, to uh, talk uh, in the videos, in the latest videos, you may be recognized. But now, yeah, I'm back again. Hi, Shati! Hi, 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 hi! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, look, the Eiger. Yeah, we wait for the sun now. Wow, look at all the rays. Yeah, the sun comes up in about one hour. Oh. Yeah, yeah, house. Hop, hop, hop. <laughs> hop, hop. Oh, nice to be back in this area. I missed it. Ah, oh. and soon we will have autumn colors. Yes, I found the first leaf of a kastanje uh, in Brienz. Yeah, a colorful leaf. Yeah, it's up a kite. Oh, sure, you know that. Someone asked me about some uh, facts or some opinions about Switzerland for my side. Well, <laughs> yeah, it's only my opinion, so it's uh, not, um, how do I say? Representative, it's not representative. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> but, also, first of all, Switzerland is really a wonderful country. But I have to say, I grew up in Zurich. Was? Big city. Huh? In the Bösekreis 4, in the circle 4. And circle 4 was uh, the worst circle in Zurich. Yeah? When, I'm, when I say worse, we have uh, drug and dealers and alcoholics and, you know, alles was so dazu gehört zum Milieu. Yeah, Milieu circle, glaube ich, kann man so sagen. And uh, yeah, I grew up uh, since until I was 18. 18 and then I, uh, yeah, I went to the countryside a little bit. Yeah, it was more sympathetic for me. <laughs> and um, so it's, it's very, um, it's a big difference be between uh, city life and country life. I mean, now I, I have a totally country life. Right? Also, my country got fast nicht. Yeah. And um, when I have to choose again, <laughs> I would choose again the countryside. Yeah, I yeah, I would love to have grown up in the countryside. But it was like it was and today it is like this. Und das ist gut so. <laughs> and what you maybe also uh, not know, do not know, um, is I was a DJ for 30 years. Yeah. I'm not a real DJ, I was a wedding DJ. <laughs> As a show real. But uh, you know, in the in the business in the DJ business, when you were a, uh, a wedding DJ, they were laughing at you. Yeah. So ah, you are a wedding DJ. <laughs> you know. <laughs> so I was a really party girl. Yeah. When I lived in the cities. Um, yeah, but I quit. I quit everything of this. Yeah, I quit weddings. I quit. DJing, I quit cities <laughs> and not 10 horses <laughs> will bring me back to, to a city again to live there. You know why? <sighs> because of this. Yeah, you know, nature makes you so happy and healthy. I, I never want to go back again. Nah. Not 20 horses and also not 30. No way. And by the way, they made a survey 
uh, yesterday in the official public Swiss television and most of the Swiss people uh, wished that they could be more out in nature. And I say, so why don't you go there? <laughs> so because it's for the Hustiere, huh? because it's just in front of your uh, of your doorstep, door map, door where is mine? Yeah. So just go out, and then you're here. So easy. And you maybe want to know how Swiss people are. Yeah, and I have to say, you know, <laughs> different uh, different people everywhere all over the world, so there is not uh, something uh, typically like this and this and this, but you can say Swiss people are uh, flissig, they work a lot. Yeah, they work a lot, as most of them. Um, and they are pünktlich, on time. Swiss people mostly are on time. Yeah, if you are five minutes too late, <laughs> They just, they call you six minutes before. <laughs> so, where are you? Um, yeah, so that this, these are the two main things. And, I mean, there is a big difference between uh, city people and country people, I think. The country life, you know, it's, it's simple. Yeah? You, you don't need a contract there. It's just hunchlock. You just give you the hand, to, uh, give me five and so, and then the cow, the, the cow is sold. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, and to get the vertrauen, the, the, the trust, the trust, I think vertrauen, no, trust is the word, huh? What is vertrauen? Uh, I was right, trust. Yeah, to, to make uh, country people trust in you needs a little bit of time, yeah? The first time they see you, they think, hmm, what's this? <laughs> And from where is this person coming? And why is this person here? And uh, when is she going back <laughs> where she was coming from? <laughs> yeah, kind of this, you know? But uh, it's not, um, they don't mean it uh, badly. Yeah, they just mm, have a look first. Yeah. And, but when they know you, they, uh, you know, you have friends forever, mostly. <laughs> so I think this is uh, the main difference. And, I mean, in the city, you know, there are, there are people living, there are many people living there. And where uh, many people are living, there are many criminals. <laughs> so, um, this is also a reason why I prefer to live on the countryside. Yeah, less people, less criminals. <laughs> yeah, so these are the, the main informations I can give to you. Uh, what else about Switzerland? What else do I love about Switzerland? I love, especially as a woman, to be able to hike without any fear everywhere I want to hike. That's really, really cool. And this brings me to the other thing when I'm hiking. There are sign spots everywhere. Yeah, you maybe think I'm lost here in this forest, but I'm not. I had a sign spot, which was telling me, hey, this way goes to Gimmelwald. And if you think you're lost, no, you're not. Yeah, sign spots everywhere, on trees, on stones, on grass homes. No, not on grass homes, but yeah, you can see them everywhere. Huh? That's really cool. By the way, you saw maybe the black dot on Rasta here. It's nothing uh, bad. It, uh, there was something below his skin, uh, talk, I don't know the name in, in English, um, something ivies, I don't know. And he just uh, 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 opened it, you know, with his paws. Ah, it's Rasta. And uh, then, it, ah, hey, hey, come. And then some blood came out, and this is dry blood, so that's why it looks a little bit ugly. Gal? Mmm, thank you, Rasta. <laughs> but I think in, in about two weeks he is in, in his old beauty. Something more about Switzerland. I could tell you something about the public transport system. 
Yeah, I know I do not use it regularly. Yeah, more regularly, sure, but not daily because with Rasta and all the tourists at the moment, it is uh, much easier for us to take the, the car. Yeah, it is less stressful for Rasta. But if you don't have a dog and you just want to enjoy the views and take it a little bit chilly, we have a super nice public transport system. Yeah, we have trains, we have cable cars, uh, we have a Bosch Auto, uh, which takes you into the deepest valleys, you know? And that's really, that's really, really cool. This is something I really love. Yeah, especially going up with the cable car. Yeah, or with a train or... Yeah, it's super cool. Yeah, because I don't like to, to hike up a steep way. I just don't like it. It's okay. How am I? And uh, that's why I prefer to go up with a cable car or a train or, or whatever and then hiking down like right now. You can see the sun is moving right now. Yeah, the rays are here. And what you see below us is... Is it Lattebrunn? Nope. Is it Twengen? Nope. It's Gimmelwald. Yeah, the cozy village of Gimmelwald. And uh, maybe you want to know what I don't like in Switzerland. Well, I know we have very high prices. Yeah, we also have uh, uh, high prices for renting a flat or uh, uh, um, buying milk or I don't see man. Yeah, the prices are very, very high. This is not that funny. So that means you need to work really a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, or you just, um, you know, buy less. <laughs> yeah. So that's why I, you know, I, I do not go to uh, expensive hotels regularly because I, I just cannot afford it. Yeah, I'm not a millionaire, even though you maybe think that I am, but I'm not. So I really have to um, look at my budget when I travel around, around my home area. Um, and then I try to book uh, cheap hotels, maybe mountain inns or something like this. Yeah, where I can sleep for about 100 Swiss francs. And this is, I think, the cheapest you can get when you when you want to have some breakfast and maybe a little bit to eat uh, for dinner. Yeah, and yeah, but I, uh, I maybe you can sleep under hundred Swiss francs, but then you just sleep somewhere and get nothing. Yeah, but I mean, this is, I think, the only thing I don't like in Switzerland: the high prices. The rest is super. The rest is totally okay. Uh, yeah, um, you know, you always, you will always find something you don't like if you want to find it. Yeah, there is always a red dot somewhere <laughs> or a white one, <laughs> but this is not a bad dot. Yeah, you know, if you want to see the bad things, you will see the bad things. And I am not like this. I just try to find the positive things everywhere. Even though my life was not always easy, yeah, and yeah, maybe you think, oh yeah, Zilla, Sylvia, the, she had a super easy life, but that was not like this. But I am a person who just try um, to take the best things out, also of bad things. So that's why I go back immediately to the good things of Switzerland. I mean, the landscape in Switzerland is so diverse. We have so many beautiful lakes. We have so many beautiful mountains. And even though I am not often in the flatlands, but also there you have very nice sunflower fields and uh, nice rivers. You know, it, it's, it's beauty everywhere. And Swiss people, they take care about their environment. And this is, uh, I like, something I like too. Yeah, that they care. Yeah, 
And that's maybe maybe the reason why they think when they see you the first time, you what is this person what this person wants from me? This is maybe why they yeah, they're a little bit afraid that you destroy something. You never know. Yeah, now we have very a lot of tourists here in Switzerland and they do go into the gardens in private areas and so and yeah I understand that some people just don't like it. Yeah? I, I wouldn't like it either if someone <laughs> would climb up to my balcony. Huh? Yeah. And I'm sure you wouldn't like it too. You know, um, I am not perfect. <laughs> I'm far, far away from perfect. But I always try at least to do the right thing and to um, understand other people or other opinions or yeah their situation so at least trying yeah it's not always possible because you're not always in the, in in the same mood you know but uh, i think at least one try is worth it we go back to the hiking informations look yeah we are soon in gimmelwald and here you can also, you see the, the pink ones, you can also uh, hike in winter. Yeah, with the snowshoes. Super nice. Yeah, we will do this together, Carl. When we have snow. <laughs> I first thought that we will wait until the sun uh, is coming to this place, but I don't think so. Because, um, yeah, it will be very hot again. And as long as the sun is here, or as soon as the sun is here, um, we have immediately very hot temperatures. And Rasta don't like it, doesn't like it. Uh, he also was uh, hachling in the night, you know, <laughs> the whole night. So I think he is tired and I am tired too. Come, Ari, Ari. I think this is a helicopter from the the Schilton construction site. Yeah. I don't know if I, if I told you, but uh, they should finish the first uh, cable car from Stechelberg to Müren uh, in autumn next year. Ooh, I'm looking very forward. Ah, I found something good again. <laughs> what I uh, like in Switzerland. Most of the hotels, not all, but most of the hotels are dog friendly. So you pay a little bit more because they have uh, to clean the room, yeah, because of fur everywhere and, you know. Um, but dogs are allowed in, yeah, in almost every hotel. But it is good when you tell them that you're coming with a dog, so they are prepared. And some of the, especially the mountain inns, they only have a few rooms uh, for uh, for dogs uh, because there are some people with allergies against fur to <laughs> proshka um, and so that's why yeah they name drugsicht how you say name drugsicht they I don't know they just take care about it yeah and um, one of you asked me to uh, when is the best time to travel to Switzerland? Um, because, you know, right now we have high season. High season in Switzerland is about July and August. Um, and I really do not recommend this time because there are really too, too, too many people traveling. Yeah? Not only in Switzerland, all around uh, the world. So, um, and by the way, it is more... Uh, interesting in spring or autumn or winter with snow. Aber nicht im Sommer. Yeah, summer is, is too busy, it's too hot, there are too many people. So if you have the choice to not go in summer, take it. Do you see the, the creeks here? Yeah? When we go up, you see nothing. Also, weißt, no snow, no glacier, nothing. This water comes from far, 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 far behind, from the glacier over there. Yeah, they have a, I don't know, a system in the mountain. 
Crazy, huh? And this view is the view into the Seifinental. We were there in early summer. Yeah, the hike was closed a long time because of uh, avalanche danger. Very nice valley, very nice hike. Can highly recommend it if you want to uh, avoid the crowd. I do a little promise now, we will do this hike again on a cool autumn day. Yeah, and then all the trees are yellow and orange and pink. No, they're not pink, but yellow and orange. <laughs> yeah, and then we have sunlight and yeah, it looks perfect. Uh, it already looks perfect, but we have no light. Maybe you don't like it with no light. But as I told you, it's too hot. So that's why we take the next cable car down. Yeah, into the valley, to Stechelberg. Then we jump into our car. Boof! And then we go home and take breakfast. That's the plan. Oh, it's again hot. I'm looking forward to go back into the cable car. <laughs> yeah. I mean, in summer, this is the best you can do in the early morning. Just take one of the early cable cars and then take one of the early cable cars down again. Yeah. We are soon down at the cable car station. Morgen! And we take the last glimpse of the last beautiful houses here. Oh, I see a white goat. Can you spot her? <laughs> so this was again another video with a lot of blah blah. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, you wished it. Sabat <laughs> schuld. Yeah. But I always will do a, a mix. Yeah, some videos are without talking, only music or only nature sound. And some videos are with some blah blah. Huh? So you can choose what you like to watch. Uh, and when you see Himbeeri, there are, yeah, these are rules. There are rules in Switzerland. If you have a Himbeeri like this on this part of the Zun, you know, on this part, it's not allowed to take. Yeah, if the himbeeri is growing here, <laughs> you can take it. <laughs> yeah, these are Swiss rules. <laughs> yeah, we have some goaties. I love white goats. I don't know exactly why. Maybe because I have a white dog. They are interested in Rasta, huh? Oh, that's the male one. You recognize the male one because he's smelling so bad. And this is something I, I really love in Switzerland, especially in the countryside, the decorated houses. Yeah, with so much love. Look at boy. Huh? The chicken. Oh, and I forgot something. I love those Swiss fountains. Look at them all. Especially when they are decorated. Everywhere the late summer flowers. Also something I love in Switzerland. <laughs> I'm sure you already recognize it, but we are in the middle of Gimmelwald downtown <laughs> yeah i don't know they have maybe 20 20 houses here yeah yeah but uh, gimbal is a very very nice village it is less crowded than murin and uh, as you can see they have many many nice uh chalets. yeah yeah and the famous photo spot i will show you you can't miss it people always 
asking, where is this photo spot? But I always say, hey, just open your eyes, you will find it. Yeah, and there is not only one photo spot. There is beauty everywhere. That's the main thing in Switzerland, yeah? But if you want to know, famous photo spot just here, around the corner. Ta-ta! <laughs> yeah, famous photo spot. We finally reached the cable car station of Gimmelwald. Yeah. And now we wait about 10 minutes and we are back in Stechelberg. Yeah. Was nice, oder? I hope you loved it, my blah blah video. <laughs> if not, you can watch the, the other ones with no blah blah. <laughs> Thanks for watching and bye bye.